be alert section. And I'm assuming you put in your Patreon email address and hit refresh bid status if uh, if your trial period's over and you've pledged on Patreon. So now you're in. First thing you do is hit the plus button in the bottom right. And I made this timeline so you can see your schedule. So let's say I want to pick up on my days off. So 13 and 14 I have off. So I'm illegal to work on one day over there. So I'll choose drop. I'm looking for drops. That's what trip sequence is. And then I want to choose 13 and 14. So 13. And it's defaults to 945 because on reserve you can't pick up a trip that reports before that. But if you're a line holder, you might want to set that earlier. And 14 is when I want release. And 1800 is the default because on your last day in reserve, you have to release from your trip before 1800. Um, uh, so what this reports on and releases before, that's the thing that most people get screwed up. They just set their report time like between those two periods of time. But that's not what you're actually looking for. You're looking for two points of time that your entire trip has to be bounded inside from report to release. So it's going to look for all the trips that report after 9.45 on the 13th and release before uh, 1.800 on the 14th. Um, now I can't pick up a two-day trip. That would make me illegal, so I have to change calendar days to just one. And then you can keep adding filters depending on you know, how narrow you want it to be. And I hit search. I was looking through the bid sheets right now, and these are all the trips that I am legal to be notified about. What does this one do? You tap it. It's a Punta Cana turn. And let's say actual. So actually, none of those potential trips are on the ETB right now. So if any of these potential trips get put on there on the ETB, it will show up in actual, and I'll get a notification. And this potential list comes out of our bid sheet. So if there's ever like a systems trip, one of those trips is start with 31,000. Uh, and if it matches the filter, you'll get a notification about it. It won't show up in the potential list because it's just limited to bid sheet information. But you will get a notification. I built it to do that. So I'll hit save. And I'll give it a name, 1819. And I want push notifications. And I'll hit OK. And there you go. That's how you do an ETB alert. And so when that ETB alert comes, you tap on the alert and it'll take you directly to the ETB alerts page and you grab it as fast as you can. Because usually if one person gets notified for a trip, it could go out to like 50 other people. So it's a, a mad race to pick up that trip before the next person.